Welcome back, everybody. Today is Monday, June 5th. Um, as you guys can see, the race car is unloaded, somewhat unloaded from the trailer. Um, typically, we wash all of our stuff on Sundays, but because it was so hot and miserable, we decided to do yard work yesterday morning and take the rest of the day off and just kind of regroup because it was miserable. So today, I have to wash the car and, and pull the radiator out of it because it it was really hot yesterday or last weekend um, and it was kind of muddy at both tracks so uh, I just want to make sure we get all the dirt out of the radiator and and uh, we'll do our usual tire prep but something different this week we're gonna keep the race car at our house um, most of you guys probably think that our shop is at our house but it is not we live in the neighborhood obviously here so um, it's a lot easier when we can just keep it here but um, all right so before I wash the car here, I'm gonna take the door and quarter panel off. I'll show you kind of what we did here. Um, because we got aluminum that was, I would say brittle. Um, it was pulling through on the first night from the cushion and the, and the sheet metal hitting the ground. So what we did was we folded this over at the racetrack and made it thicker. Um, so that way we don't have a problem. But now we're gonna do it to the door so we're gonna take the door apart here and do the same thing. You can kind of see it's pretty thin. Um, we don't we don't have the same problem right now as we did with the quarter panel, but we don't want to find out the hard way. So I'm gonna take it off here. One, it'll be easier to wash, and two, hopefully we don't have the same problem. So. All right, so we're at the house and Marcus is going to get the body put back on. Well, some of it, if it cooperates. Not because of body damage, just so we can do a good job washing. Yeah, Cody took it apart so he could wash it, get a good clean under there. I mean, that side is a little crinkled. He got the wall, as you can see from down there, all the way up. A lot more relaxing week this week. A lot more of a relaxing week this week. <laughs> So Marcus and I are just doing our usual maintenance on the car, checking all the bolts, checking, making sure we don't have anything that squeaks. Fix the body there, as you guys can see, looks beautiful. Are we going over this? Yeah. So. It does look nice. Don't show that. I uh, didn't. So yeah, another thing that we're doing is if you take a look at the radiator. She's real nice and dirty, so we're gonna take that, throw that in the bathtub, and and uh, let it soak overnight, and she'll be nice and clean tomorrow morning. So tomorrow, gotta change the oil on the motor. Um, obviously, put that radiator in, and and uh, do some tire work, and we'll be ready to go for Friday night, Menominee, Red Cedar Speedway, and then again on Saturday at Cedar Lake Speedway. So. All right, why don't, you, why don't you show me what you were just doing to clean the dirt off your race car? Well, Amber told me I did a bad job washing it, so okay. I didn't want to look bad, so this is what I did. Nothing a little spit shine can't work. Yes, yeah, so you spit on it, not lick it. Well, if I spit, I would spit out my cheese curds that I have in my mouth right now, so. Can't take you anywhere. Okay, so Cody's still at work, but Tim just took the radiator out of the tub. It's been soaking in there since last night. And wow, I <laughs> I came in here to look and I was like, oh my goodness. So you can see a lot came out of her this time. So now we're going outside here and they're take, they've taken the radiator outside the house and they're flushing it out now with the hose. To get the final 
get a picture of the bathtub? Yes, I did. I walked in there. I was. Out there, you should have seen the stuff that come out of here. Oh, after you started rinsing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you guys can see, there's there was a lot in there. I can't even imagine trying to run that that dirty. So. Um, One thing it is, he just did that a couple of weeks, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. He cleaned it two weeks ago? Yeah. And it was completely clean and and didn't even look that dirty, so. Nope. All right, so car is basically ready to go. Um, we just did a whole bunch of maintenance stuff on the car this week, like changing oil, putting the radiator out because it was full of mud. Um, and now we're just doing a little bit Thursday night tire prep. Um, I wanted you guys to check this out. This is the tire that I ran. Um, well, I ran it last year too a couple times, but I ran it for the feature on Saturday. Well, Friday and Saturday. And I don't know what I was thinking because there's like nothing left of it. Look at that tread. It's hard to see exactly, but right there is the bottom of the tire. As you guys can see, there's not a whole lot of tread left on that tire. So um, I guess it's time for some new ones. So good thing we have some extras. I just never mounted them up. So I guess that's what we'll be doing later. All right, everyone. Uh, it's Cody and I. Cody drew, he drew number 17, which ironically is Marcus's number, was Marcus's number when he raced the Superstock. It was. So, um, Cody said, oh, maybe that's good luck. Have anything to say, Cody? Well, I have inside word that they, they did something different with the track this week, and it looks way different than it has all year. It's actually somewhat smooth, and it's really dry. So for the first time, I think I can ever say this year, I really hope they water the piss out of it, because I don't know what we have in the car right now is exactly what we should be running on that type of track but only one way to find out and if it doesn't work we just put it in our notes so um, I guess we'll just find out I, I'm guessing we started on the pole of one of the heat races um, It's a new day and a new game. It is. That's what's so hard about dirt track racing. People think, you know, it's just so easy, but it's really not. You know, you got you got dirt that changes by the by the minute because of the sun, you know, water, whatever it is, the wind. Um, anything can change and you know, predicting it is like trying to predict the weather, you know. Sometimes you might get it right on <laughs> and sometimes it might be way off. So <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is and We'll hopefully we make the right cha changes to the car, and uh, if not, we have another race to figure it out. So, and hey, you know what? I thought there might be not as many good cars here tonight because Ego Valley, which is about 20 minutes to the east of us, is running a bigger paying show. It's not the case. We got 24 cars, and we got some big fishes here tonight. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. So the usual really good guys left to go to Jim Falls, and but the... The other big fish that came from Wasoda Land came over to run for points, and uh, yeah, I'm not looking, I'm not saying I'm not looking forward to it, but it just makes it that much harder, um, and they're, they're good, so, um, you know what, I, I shouldn't even say anything like that, because I'd rather race against really good people and get a top five than win against a bunch of bad cars, so we'll, uh, we'll take it and see what we can do, and hopefully... Hopefully we improve one spot better than Saturday. And gain some more confidence. Yeah, there's none right now. We'll see what happens when he race time. Okay. Well, good luck, dude. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>
they, they didn't have nothing. No. That surprised me. I felt slow. You were better in three and four than you were one and two. There's a there's a little piece of tack. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna just gonna talk quick because I gotta check stagger. But before the heat race, I watched the track, and the first car came off. Everyone in the pits here, or my 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 trailer here, said, Are "You sure you made the right change?" I'm telling you, I watched that track dry out while they were out there packing it, and I knew that if I didn't change what my my car had before. There is no way that we were going to be able to win that race. So I made a little bit of adjustment for my driving style, and it paid off. I thought, like I said, I told them guys, I thought I was slow. I thought they were all over me, but apparently not. So You made the right choice. Good job. Yeah, I didn't even have to call Dad. Okay, so I've looked at the lineup. That's two better than last week. Yeah, whole row. Fourth row inside. Yeah, a whole row. A whole row, yeah. To start in that last week. Yeah. So, we start there. It's draw, redraw. If it was their point inversion from a soda, they would probably be on the front row or somewhere up there. Uh, we have a really good car. I uh, obviously made the right change from just watching the track. This is going to be the same type of deal. Um, we have a 20, inter 20 minute intermission right now. Um, they say that you know, we're going to do a little track prep, so I guess we'll uh, go up there and figure out you know, what. Ah, damn. I guess we'll figure out, you know, what we need to do to be, you know, win this race or, or try to win this race, but it's going to be one of those last minute decisions. It might hurt us, it might benefit us. So i uh, feeling stronger than I was last week, so that's that's always a plus. And it's always a plus to have a really good race car, so um, I don't want to change too much and screw it all up, but uh, keep looking at the lineup because it's, it's a loaded lineup, so.